Looking for a travel trailer with a Murphy bed? Stick around, folks. We found three awesome models you're going to want to check out. Hey guys, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of videos all about RVing. And we also invite you to check out our website called rvblogger.com where we have hundreds of helpful articles there all about RVing too. And finally, we invite you to join our private Facebook group called RV Camping for Newbies where you can meet fellow RVers, ask lots of questions, and just learn even more about RV camping and have fun while you're doing it. But in today's video, we're taking a look at travel trailers with Murphy beds. Now, what's so great about a Murphy bed? Well. Murphy beds are multifunctional. So instead of having a bed set up in your camper all the time that only serves as a bed, you can fold your bed away and it becomes a sofa during the daytime when you're not sleeping. So it really helps to free up and create more floor space inside your camper. Now, one of the campers that we're gonna to review today actually has three uses for the Murphy bed area. So stick around, I know you're gonna to wanna to check that out and we'll see you inside all of our campers with Murphy beds. This travel trailer is the Keystone Springdale number 1740RK. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 4,030 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,170 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 5,200 pounds. It measures in at 21 feet, five inches long, and it sleeps up to three people. When you first walk into this RV, on the right-hand side is where the sofa and Murphy bed are located. Then you wrap around and you've got your dinette. And then towards the back of the trailer, you've got your kitchen area and also your bathroom. So here I am just inside the entry door. And my first impression when I walk in here is that this is a pretty roomy camper. I mean, it feels big and spacious with the dinette and its own slide out. That gives you extra floor space. And then of course the Murphy bed setup also saves space. So it's got a nice feel when you first walk in here. Now the Murphy bed and sofa setup itself is, there's a wardrobe closet on each side of the bed. You can hang things in here or stack them up. You'll also notice that there are receptacles and USB ports on both sides of the bed. You've got nice countertops here, so you could use them as an end table or a nightstand while you're in bed as well. So if you need to have a CPAP machine, charge your phones, whatever, you've got plenty of hookups for all that good stuff. Now, the way the Murphy bed works in this unit is really pretty simple. The sofa here just rolls right over, nice and easy. And then there's just one latch to lower the Murphy bed right here in the center. Just lower this down. And then this has a fold-out Murphy bed mattress. It's a little hard to deal with because it's all wrapped in plastic, but that's all right. So it folds out and then you've got your Murphy bed here. You'll also notice on each side, there are a couple of cubbies uh, right next to you where you would be sleeping. So you have extra storage there uh, as well. Now, one downside of this kind of a Murphy bed mattress is that if you have your sheets on here, I think you would probably have to take them off and put them on every time you fold it up the Murphy bed and put it away. And then when you unfolded it and put it back out because you have to fold up this mattress and I really don't think your sheets are going to stay on there very well. We've seen other Murphy bed setups where the whole entire Murphy bed stays as one big mattress. And I think that's a better setup for keeping your sheets and things on. But to uh, fold it up and put it away, it's really very simple. That just clicks into place. And then the sofa back just rolls back over and boom. I mean, it's very, very simple setup. So it's, it's really great in terms of that. So here I am in the dinette here, and this is a decent sized dinette. I mean, it, it could easily seat four people here. Um, it's got a nice big window. It's got a light overhead that you can turn on and off right here at the light, which I really like because you don't have to get up and flip a switch to turn your light on. The other nice thing about this dinette is the top does drop down, so this can become a bed. And I would say two kids could sleep on this bed pretty easily. I mean, it's gonna end up being um about five feet eight inches so i would say two children or you know maybe some adults that aren't as tall could fit into here but um you know 
definitely no more than one or two smaller sized adults. Now, below the, each of the benches, there is storage. It's a little bit inconvenient to get to because you have to raise or remove the cushions to be able to lift up the piece of plywood that's under here to get to the storage. So if you're storing things that you don't need very often, that's fine. And then finally, all the way down here, you've got a couple of drawers that pop out from underneath the dinette. Nice use of storage space, putting the drawers in. The only thing I don't really like about this, I'm not crazy about it, is it's got a big step up to get up to the dinette. I mean, that is, gosh, a good 12 inches, maybe 12 and a half inches. And it's also carpeted, which I'm not a big fan of either. I much prefer to see dinettes that have linoleum on the floor because if you drop food, that's where it's gonna go and now it's gonna fall on the carpet. So imagine a nice spaghetti and meatballs and you drop your meatball. Now you got meatball and sauce all over your rug. So here I am in the kitchen area just across from the dinette. And I have to say this trailer has a ton of countertop space. Probably one of the biggest countertop spaces we've ever seen. Have you ever seen one bigger than this, honey, in a small trailer? No. I mean, this thing is gigantic. So lots and lots of storage space, windows overhead to really brighten things up. And it's got these two little things that sort of hang down here. Keystone RV includes a speaker. I think it's a Boss speaker. It's not Bose, um, but it'll hang right here. You can use it inside your camper. You can take it outside with you and use it while you're outside. It's a really cool little setup. Now up top here, you know, nice big storage cabinet, plenty of storage up there. It does come with a microwave, not a convection oven, just a plain old microwave. And then next to that, you've got some additional storage sort of in this dead corner back here. Now, what's really unusual here is they have two different heights of countertop. I'm not really sure. I guess there's something under here and they couldn't redesign around it. But I'm not really sure I like this either. I can picture crumbs or if you spill something getting under there, it might not be so great. You could set up your coffee maker back here, toaster, things like that, because it does have a receptacle. So that's really nice does have a two burner range here, a very small single bowl sink that's not very deep at all. I think it would be pretty difficult to wash the dishes in here, but I'm sure you could get the job done. And then down below all that, we've got plenty of storage all the way around, plenty of drawer space in here. And then finally, even another drawer underneath of the cooktop. Okay, at the back of the kitchen is where the refrigerator is located. Freezer up top, nice and big, and refrigerator down below. Now this kind of refrigerator runs on both propane or shore power, but it's got plenty of room for a trailer this size, and I think it's in a pretty good location here in the kitchen. Now let's take a look at the bathroom. All right, so here I am inside the shower as usual, and as you guys know, I'm 5'11". So uh, there is, I mean, I'm just hitting my head on the ceiling here. So there's about five feet, 11 inches in here to work with. It's a, you know, a decent sized shower, uh, very basic, but you know, a decent size that you could comfortably shower in here. It does have the shower curtain, which everyone knows I don't like. You could buy a little uh, shower door from Rec Pro or something like that and get rid of the shower curtain. It's a little retractable shower door. I forget how much they cost. I think they're around $65 to $100, depending on the size that you need. This also has a pretty good step up to get into the shower. It's about 11 inches tall. Uh, certainly not the worst we've seen, but uh, just be aware of that. Now, outside the shower, you've got this medicine cabinet with a couple of shelves inside. Decent size countertop space for a bathroom with a good size sink. And then you have open and cabinet storage down below. So the elbow test is a little tight in here. If this door was closed, I can't get this elbow to move at all. And my other elbow, as long as it's on top of the countertop, hey, plenty of room. Introducing today's sponsor, RV Snap Pad. RV Snap Pad is the world's only permanent jack pad. They're made for fifth wheels, motorhomes, travel trailers, truck campers, and much more. Snap pads were made to snap onto your levelers or stabilizer system and stay there for good. With snap pads installed, your RV will benefit from increased stability and protection for each landing foot, less sinking in soft surfaces, and you won't need to get under your rig to place and retrieve jack pads. 
We're partnered with SnapPad to offer our viewers a special discount on a set of SnapPads. Just click the link in the description below or go to rvsnappad.com, enter in your RV info, and get an instant recommendation for the right size SnapPads for your rig. Then use our discount code RVBLOGGER10 during checkout to get 10% off. Snap pads are made in the USA and they offer additional discounts for veterans or first responders. Visit rvsnappad.com today for more info. This travel trailer is the Coachman Clipper model number 162RBU. Has an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,249 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 746 pounds, for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 3,995 pounds. It measures in at 19 feet 9 inches long and it sleeps two people. When you walk on into this trailer, you'll notice on the right hand side we have a dinette also a sofa and the Murphy bed. And then as you wrap on around towards the back of this trailer, you've got your pantry, refrigerator, kitchen area, and behind me here is where the full width bathroom is located. So here I am sitting at the very front of this trailer and I'm in a gigantic couch slash dinette slash Murphy bed. I mean, talk about your multifunctional travel trailer. This one sure has it all. Now we've seen a lot of travel trailers these days moving away from the dinette concept and that's what this trailer has done too. Rather than have a full-time dinette, they just have a standalone table here and you can set this up and then I guess you could have one, two, and then maybe a person on each end. So you could sort of get four people here, you know, relatively comfortably being able to eat dinner together. Another nice thing about this table is you can just fold it up, take it outside, and use it out there as well. So it really has a lot of functions. Now the sofa itself is very large, really pretty comfortable. Um, you know, sitting on here is, feels pretty nice. It also faces where the entertainment center would be, and that's where your TV would be located. So it's really in a good position here. Now to fold all this up or fold it all away and get the Murphy bed to pop out, let's go ahead and try that. And actually, Susan brought up a really interesting point. It's a shame the table's not a little longer because then maybe you could put the table in place, drop the table, and then make this a big bed area and you don't even have to use the Murphy bed. But they didn't do that, And um, but it would be pretty cool if they did. But anyway, to make this work is very simple. You just get the table out of the way, obviously. And just move the cushions around a little bit. These kind of slide around a little. And then there's just one latch here that you just pull and that releases your Murphy bed. And now this style of Murphy bed is great because it comes with one single mattress that doesn't fold up. Your sheets will stay on here. It's really pretty nice. Plus it's an east west bed, which a lot of people really like. Um, this one is 74 inches by uh 56 inches so that would be a twin bed full size bed full size bed. full size bed i never ever get twin and full size straight i just can't get them straight in my mind anyway uh murphy bed setup's pretty nice up here now you'll notice on the one side you don't really have a place for hanging things you just have some open storage over here on the right um but at the head of the bed there are some receptacles and usb ports so you can at least plug in and charge things up at the end of your day. Hey guys, one other neat feature about this dinette slash sofa slash Murphy bed setup is that if you do remove the cushions, you have storage underneath of the dinette seating and even the center part of the sofa seating. And you can even get to that storage from outside your camper through the exterior door. So just around the corner from the sofa and dinette and Murphy bed is where the entertainment center is located. And they have it built in here at a 45 degree angle, which is great. Easy viewing from the sofa, dinette or Murphy bed itself. Although the head of your bed is on this side. So you might have to lay the other way in bed if you want to watch TV while you're in bed at night. Now, starting from the top down, you've got a nice amount of storage up top here. Obviously your TV would sit right in the middle here. You've got your cable and auxiliary jacks plus a couple of receptacles. Below that we have some open storage plus all of your radio controls. And then below that even more storage down below. 
Here I am in the kitchen area of this trailer, and you'll notice it's a decent sized kitchen for a smaller trailer. First general impressions are that with the with the sink cover in place, there's an okay amount of countertop space in here. It does have this double burner stovetop as well. And then above that, you've got a nice door with a black glass inset, plenty of storage up top, and then it does come with a regular microwave oven as well. So the sink in here is actually pretty small. I mean, if I had to do dishes in a size, in a sink this size, I would have water all over the countertop, probably dripping down the front of the cabinets. Susan would be freaking out, yelling at me because I got water everywhere again. And so uh, for me, it doesn't matter what size the sink is, I get water everywhere. But with a sink this little, it might be a problem for you. Now down below, you've got plenty of countertop space underneath of the sink area as well. And then next to that, even more storage underneath of your two burner cooktop. Now directly across from the kitchen is where the wardrobe or pantry cabinet and refrigerator are located. The wardrobe cabinet is very spacious. You'll notice that it has a bar up top so you can hang things, but you could also place things down below. And then in addition to that, you've got some storage below that cabinet too. The refrigerator here has a nice wood panel on the outside of it so it blends in with the trailer. Inside the fridge, it's a good size fridge for a trailer that this size is this size. It runs off of propane and shore power, but good size fridge. And then of course it's got a separate freezer, which is terrific. And that's a good size freezer too. Here I am standing in the shower in this bathroom and we'll try to get some better angles of it, but it's a big bathroom. It runs the whole entire width of the back of this trailer. So it's a pretty decent sized bathroom. Now inside the shower and in the skylight, there's about six feet, three inches of headroom in here. And it's a very, very basic shower. They don't even have any of the plastic shower walls in here. They just use the regular camper walls. They've caulked them all in and that's it. I mean, it has a shower curtain, so it's very, very basic. There's also a little step up to get in here and it's probably about 10 inches or so to step up and into the shower. So now Susan's standing in the shower and I'm on the other side of the bathroom. so. Plenty of room in here, and you'll notice right away you've got a big medicine cabinet up here. Plenty of storage room inside of here. This is a deep cabinet too. I mean, that's whatever, 10 inches deep on the shelf, so a good amount of space. Um, a decent sized sink in here, plus plenty of countertop space. It's also got some receptacles here, so you can plug in your hair dryer, shaver, whatever you need. Then there's a little bit of open storage down below and also some closed cabinet storage under the sink. As far as the elbow test goes, this baby passes with flying colors. This travel trailer is the Forest River Ibex, model number 19 RBM. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 4,314 pounds, a very high cargo carry capacity of 3,286 pounds, for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 7,600 pounds. It measures in at 21 feet, 11 inches, and it can sleep up to three people. When you first walk into this camper on the right-hand side, you'll notice that you have a nice couch and the Murphy bed set up. Next to that, we have our refrigerator and kitchen area. Right across from that is where the dinette is. And then behind me here is where the bathroom is located. So here I am walking in from the entry door and on my right hand side is where this nice couch is located. Now this couch is pretty comfortable actually. It's got some nice big thick foam cushions on it. You sink right into it, which kind of surprised me when I first sat down. So it's a little squishy on, when you sit on it, but it's pretty comfortable all in all. Now this is a Murphy bed setup. And the great thing about a Murphy bed setup is your bed isn't out in the room all day long and it's not taking up space that's not needed when you're not sleeping. So the Murphy bed folds up and you have a nice comfy couch right here that you can use during the daytime. So, but to switch it over to a Murphy bed, it's really pretty easy. This is sort of a jackknife type setup. So you just jackknife your sofa out. There's a little clip right here. You just pull that out and then the bed platform falls right down. And then you just grab your mattress and pull it right down and i think in this scenario there is a fold in the mattress like right in the i don't know 
two thirds and then one third, there's a fold there. But we left the comforter on and uh, it didn't pop off. So I would think if you had your sheets and everything on here, they would stay in place pretty well for you. Now you'll also notice that you've got a nice big window in the front of the camper here. You've got some cubby holes in the back and even a storage shelf on each side in the back. We also have a light on each side of the bed that you have access to. And then up front here you've got a wardrobe closet on each side of the bed. Below that you've got two USB ports and two receptacles. Nice little nightstand in case you need a CPAP machine. And then below the nightstand, there's more cabinet space as well. Now this looks to be about a residential queen size bed in here. And it is 60 inches wide and 80 inches long. So for sure, it's a residential size queen size bed, which is fantastic. Plenty of room for you. Your TV location is just across from me and above the window. Not a bad spot. I'm sure it's on a swing arm so you can lay in bed, watch TV, and be nice and comfortable when you're doing that. Now, to put the Murphy bed back up, you just do all the opposite steps. You fold up the mattress. You fold up this little panel, and it just locks into place. And then you unjack knife your sofa, and there you go. Everything goes right back the way it was. So just past the TV area and the sofa is where the kitchen is located. Now, this kitchen is actually in a very small slide out. I would say this slide out's about a foot and a half deep, but it does give you a little extra floor space inside your camper. And another really nice feature about it being built into the slide out is that you get all this extra countertop space behind your sink and your stove top. Um, I don't know what's below that. I looked outside, there's nothing under it. You can't get to it from the front. So I don't know why they made it this way, but um, it's kind of a cool layout and it's a neat way to create extra countertop space, which so many smaller campers are lacking. But I will say this, the sink that's in here is a nice big round and very deep single bowl sink. Great for washing dishes, pots and pans. It's got a nice big faucet with a sprayer built right into it. It's, I believe it's called an integral faucet. Uh, some of our plumbing friends sometimes let us know what we should be calling things properly because I don't always call them the right thing. Anyway, it has the nice sprayer all set up for you. This also comes with a two burner propane stove. And then just below that, we have a convection style microwave oven. So you can bake things in there like pizzas and things like that as well. And then there's also additional storage down below the kitchen sink. Above the stove top and kitchen sink, we have your range hood, which has a light and a fan. And then you've got one big cabinet up here with two doors that gives you lots of storage space up there. The refrigerator in here is a 12 volt refrigerator. So this will run on shore power or, or on a battery. It's got a compressor style motor in it. So it will get cold very, very quickly. And it's a terrific size refrigerator. I really like that. Now, one thing that's built into this camper that we see every now and then, not very often though, is that it does have a central vac system so if you have some dirt and debris and stuff you can kick that open and it'll you can sweep your cr crumbs right in there and it'll whisk them away now the dinette here is right across from the kitchen and this can you can drop the table down and actually sleep a third person here the length of this would come in somewhere right around i guess about five feet ten inches so you could definitely fit a child or an average size adult here and this could sleep three people all together. It's got a nice big window over top of the dinette, which is fantastic. And then it's got three nice big storage cabinets above as well. Now, just outside the bathroom, I guess it's still partly in the kitchen, is this nice big mirrored storage cabinet. So you could use this as a pantry or a pantry with linens. I mean, however you'd like, but there's plenty of storage in there. And then let's roll into the bathroom and check that out. So here I am inside the shower as usual, and the shower height into the skylight is about six feet, four inches. There's also some nice corner shelves in here to hold your shampoo and soap. 
but to get up and into the shower there's about a 12 inch step up just to get in here now one nice feature that this shower has is it is pretty roomy in here and it does have a shower curtain but this shower curtain has a track at the bottom and the top so it controls whether or not that shower curtain blows around on you and the top track actually bows out and into the bathroom so if you have to have a shower curtain this is definitely the kind that you would want to go with very nice very nicely done outside of the shower you'll notice here that we have a medicine cabinet with a mirror on the front with some drawers or i'm sorry shelves inside i always say drawers instead of shelves i don't know why and then a little bit of open storage here down below that you've got your vanity with a decent sized sink and then some additional storage space down below that now susan's in the shower but on the other side of the bathroom which runs the whole width of the trailer by the way there is a very large storage closet here one half has a bar up top so you can hang things in there and the other half has shelving so you can put things away that way and finally the elbow test now i'm sitting in here Ain't no way my elbow's going that way, but on this side, I've got plenty of room. Now that you've seen all these campers with Murphy beds, there's only three things left to do. One, hit the subscribe button down below, and then hit the notification bell when you do. You'll be notified every week when we put out a brand new video. Two, give us a thumbs up for the video. It helps everybody to know that you liked it too. And finally, just click the box down below, and we'll see you in the next video.